We had a very bad storm last night, and uh, one of the trees from across the street. Look at this, Eric. You want to be King Arthur? Tall, and uh, tumbled down at 4:50 this morning while I was asleep in the front room, and most of the damage came, thank goodness, to this, the other side of the house. My uh, well, I can get it out. I got the front, other front room. Uh, the ceiling is down, there's leaks. My bathroom, the ceiling is down and there's all leaks. And the whatever who is in control, they never listen to me. And I have been asking and asking. I have documentation for years that these trees need to be uh, cut down. Something needs to be done. But because they were not diseased, quote, uh, nothing was done. And the storm last night, did it. And I'm thankful that I didn't die because if the wind had blown it on my bedroom, which is in the front room, I may not be able to talk to you. Now we're gonna just have to deal with redoing the house. Uh, it's a little, I mean, it's a material thing. I am fine, so I'm, you know, thank goodness nobody got hurt. Just my friend's car got demolished. Again, it's a material thing. Everyone in the house I lived with was awake and uh, they heard the storm, they heard the thump and they were just up and about and I came downstairs and said what happened and they said a tree hit the house and uh, I heard the car alarm go off and I knew immediately my car was smashed. On the tree. I knew it. I just knew it. There goes my car. I think it's kind of funny actually. It was actually quite funny to see a tree sitting on the car and making a lot of fun about the car being a low rider and being a convertible and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I just have to take it with a grain of salt. I mean, I feel grateful that I'm alive, that I wasn't in the car at the time. The tree fell and, you know, the car I can replace. So, it's no big deal. It's a, it's a hassle, but, you know, life goes on.